Hi, yes, hello, and welcome back to another Millennial Movie Monday. If you're new here, hi, my name is Ashley, and if you're a returner, welcome back. I'm a millennial that likes to go back and watch your older classic movies for the very first time. I give you a preview review, which is what I think the movie's gonna be about based on Bob culture. We watch it together, edit it, of course, because copyright, and then I give you my review. Did I like it? Did I not like it? Did it stand the test of time? And I give it stars, all based on personal preference, and... What the hell do I know? So today's movie, if you haven't seen the title or read the thumbnail, I am watching the 1991 Thelma and Louise. I feel like I've said this often recently, but I really do feel like I have gotten to some really requested films recently. This being one of them. Along those same lines, I feel like Mars Attacks, I've gotten in the P.O. Box several times, Total Recall. We've gotten to a lot of big requests and we still have more on the way, like Arsenic and Old Lace. All that being said, today is the day for Thelma and Louise. I will never forget, it was during a YouTube live when somebody mentioned had I ever watched Thelma and Louise and I thought they were referencing Laverne and Shirley, which are totally different things. I have watched Laverne and Shirley. I have not watched Thelma and Louise. I know I've gotten this in my P.O. box many times. Uh, I know many people have requested it. So let's look at a movie poster. And this right here is what I am looking at. I'm already so excited because you got Susan Sarandon, which I saw her in Rocky Horror Picture Show, I think. And also... Also, she was in Witches of Eastwick. And then you got Gina Davis, who I've only seen A League of Their Own and Beetlejuice. I think those are the only two I've seen her in. So I'm really excited about this. I loved both of these women so far and both the movies I've seen them in. Somebody said, get a life. So they did. The poster doesn't give much away. Maybe two girly friends go on a trip in what looks like could be Arizona. I'm excited. Gina Davis, Susan Sarandon. Today we are watching Thelma and Louise from 1991. So no more diddle dally. Let's get right into today's Millennial Movie Monday. <laughs> it's beans. Already talked about it. Already excited about it. Are they like best friends? Are they more than friends? Are they friends at all? Christopher McDonald sounds familiar. Or maybe I'm thinking of Norm McDonald. I could be wrong. Brad Pitt? Okay, all right. I didn't know any of those other names in the intro credits. <gasps> Is that Susan? Ruins your sex trap. Does it? What? <laughs> well, she ain't worried about it clearly. I got it! Are they gonna be best friends? You work? No, I'm calling from the Playboy Mansion. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we've got two sassy ladies on our hands, and I love that for us. Damn it, Thelma. What? Okay, don't like him. Hun. What? I'm nervous. The way she's acting around him, I don't like it. Hun. What? Yeah, don't like this dynamic. It's a good thing you're not regional manager. Oh, you got a fancy keychain, too. Big man. No, three. Get out of here by three today. What does it matter? If you're not going to be home until late on Friday, what's the matter what time they get done? Uh, I'll be there around two. Good for you. You don't have to ask your man permission. It's the mountains. I guess it gets cold at night. I don't know. I'm just going to bring everything. That's a good plan. That is also how I pack for trips. Girl, just eat the candy bar. Stop putting it back in the freezer. Look at that car. Look at that car. Gina Davis is so pretty. Like, she has the most perfect nose. When she said pack everything, I don't think she meant for real, for real. What? Anyway! <laughs> you're not supposed to handle it like you're scared of it. Okay, so she lives alone, but is trying to call this man named Jimmy, put his picture down. Hey, now, hey. I need to know about Thelma and her husband, because her husband doesn't look like a good, good job. There's some escaped psycho killer on the loose who... Who's scared of lanterns? Thelma, well then that lantern will come in real handy. Look at her hair. I love it! I'm so excited for this girl's trip! Selfie! Yes! Ah! Look at those cuties! Whoa! Why is Thelma real obsessed with psycho killers? Yes, baby, let them shoulders out. How come they let you go? Well, about that. I left them a note. 
Everybody deserves some fun, girl. Get into it. Oh, you're just seeing how you look holding, holding a cigarette. She's taking on a whole new identity. I love this for her. Is there tension there? Is there tension there? Or I'm just trying to make their tension. What kind of truck is that? What is that doing to the road? I have a wild turkey. What's a wild turkey? Margarita. Yep. There you go. That's what's up. Louise here is mad at her boyfriend. Wow, girl, you telling everybody's business. Good for you getting the attention you've been wanting, girlfriend. Jeez Louise, that wouldn't be nice. Jeez Louise! <laughs> I don't know who that is or if he's like a real musician or anything like that. Why don't you ditch the nose that has none of yours? Tip for tat, baby. Let's have some fun! And don't forget, y'all still gotta drive to the cabin, so don't get too toasty roasty. Who has shots with a margarita chaser? Yeah, get up and dance, Louise. Get into it, baby girl. You know, I don't know how to dance. Line dance or for real dance. Like, I don't know anything about leading or following. Oh, I just mentioned line dancing. I don't know any line dances. Like, how do you learn to line dance? Woo, them high kicks? Are you kidding me? Chug the margarita, then you'll be a better dancer. That's what I tell myself anyway. You know, for somebody who is real worried about psycho killers, she really does be dancing real heavy with a stranger. She did a lot of twists with a lot of alcohol. Oh, no place is as crazy as a women's restroom at like a club or a bar. This is an accurate depiction. I think I'm starting to feel a little better. I'm real worried about you, girlfriend. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Where do you think you're going, huh? Oh no. Let me go. You better stop. Listen, I'm not gonna hurt you. Right. Well, that, well, I'm not gonna slap and I'm not gonna hurt you. That. Louise. Hey. Oh, heavens. Okay, well, oh, sh oh, this is not the great beginning that she wanted. Let her go. You better pull the gun, Louise. You better pull the gun. You let her go, you fucking. Yes! Your ugly face all over this nice car. As you should. As you should. All right, hey, 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 just <gasps> calm down. We no! Let me tell you something, Louise, you were a lot nicer than I'd be. <laughs> Bitch! I oh, have see? Gone ahead and fucked her. Get the car. Oh, Jesus Christ. Get in the car! What a crazy start to a girl's trip. Why are we letting the drunk one drive is my question. Tell him what happened. Which part? Yeah, good question. I believe that we don't live in that kind of a world, Thelma. I wish she wasn't right. I wish she wasn't right. I wish she wasn't right. Is this movie gonna make me cry? I bet you did have to throw up, girl. Let's get to the cabin so we can clean up and get some sleep. And then, just for a second, and then I'm, I'm gonna... Oh my god, she looks so bad. Alright. <laughs> I'm heartbroken, I'm angry, I'm stressed, I'm scared. Oh, nobody knows it was us. Yep. And there's no security cameras. You just have to figure out what we're gonna do. You're just gonna continue with your girl's vacation like you had planned. This is some vacation. <laughs> Having a good time. This is real fun. <laughs> I shouldn't. I'm sorry. <laughs> Concerned what happened so much, and we won't be here right now. Oh, hey, don't blame her. It's not your fault. It's not your fault. It's not your fault. Oh my god, this movie's gonna make me cry. She really left him a beer and some microwave dinner. I love that. Waiting tables in a bar don't make you an expert on human nature. That's a really good point. She has seen a lot. Has anybody asked his wife? She's the one I hope did it. But we don't want an innocent person to go to jail for this. What kind of car they were driving, did you? It's a nightclub, Hal, not a drive-in. Exactly. She wasn't outside the club. Neither of those two was the murdering type, Hal. I agree. Uh, Jimmy. Wow, so neither husband is answering the home phones. Maybe it's time to not be with those husbands anymore. Oh, a little bit of blood spot. Yeah, just get that off. There you go. What an awful start to a vacation. 
60. $41. You lost a 20? I would park that car real quick, go back there and get it. When you figure it out, just me up. You don't want to help come up with a solution? You can help me try to figure out what to do, all right? I'm trying. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Well, what's the big rush, Thelma? I mean, well, if we give them enough time, they'll come to us. Yeah, true. True. Maybe. <laughs> But also, Louise, you gotta remember, she just went through a very scary, traumatic thing. No, I'm out of town. I'm in the... Why is she carrying her suitcase to the pool with her? I come back. Nobody knows where you are. Well, nobody knew where you were, Jimmy. Shit. $100 and I'll pay you back. Well, what the fuck is going on here, Louise? A lot. And I can't tell you what. Just that I did it, and I can't undo it. Hey, you did the best you could with what you got in a really stressful situation. Also, why is it the husbands that just, like, do whatever and run off and, like, stay gone for as long as they want to be gone? Why are they the same ones that are like, where are you at? Ain't nobody seeing you. You didn't leave a damn note. <gasps> That's a cute suit. What is she listening to? She just got ready to go for a swim and it's time to go? Girl, how you... How both your lips fit in that bikini bottom? APB and see what mm. we get back. He looks familiar. Oh. I don't know his name, but he looks familiar. Yeah, why don't we go ahead and let the bureau in on this? Oh, so this this is now turned into like a like a woman hunt. Not tell me anything about this. You gotta just make sure everything's on normal. This is giving me uh, the chicks goodbye Earl vibes. Things have changed. Everything's changed. Man, Louise really cost them out on her innocence and like bullshittery. Okay, so Louise is going to Mexico, and Thelma, you can either go with her or catch a greyhound back. Boom. <laughs> Phone booths are still such a wild concept to me. I, uh, that I, horse I, I lamp it. and it's just I've... the ass that's lit. It's under peaches. Peaches? That's the code word. It, uh, I miss you, peaches. Oh, well, that's kind of cute. Maybe you should be at the house more if you miss her so much. You sure you wouldn't rather have a large economy size? That's what I was saying. Why buy the little bottles when you can buy the big one? Thelma! Where in the Sam hell are you? Um. <laughs> now I leave for work and you take complete leave of your senses? No, you leave for work and don't tell her what time you're gonna be home and she goes on a girl trip. Wow, you haven't listened at all. You haven't listened and all of this is so important. And then we'll be home tomorrow night. No, you won't. You'll be back today. You're my husband, not my father. Oh, now that does. Absolutely! If you're not back here, by tonight. What you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Go fuck yourself. Yes, girl! Go to Mexico with Louise! You all right? Yeah, you okay? Did I cause that? No, I'm sorry. Is that a baby Brad Pitt? Yeah. You know what? I never Great. thought I needed to see Brad Pitt as a little cowboy, but I ain't mad at it. You're going my way or that's going your way? Yeah, I can give you a ride. But, you know, I mean, I can ask, you know, it wouldn't hurt. I I love Gina Davis' southern accent. It's very cute. I also love Twizzlers. Drive safe. Louise. Louise, let us pick up the cute boy. <laughs> Baby girl! Not a good idea! But kind of badass at the same time. Man in the background. Beefy. We got some shout shout. Long before we're in goddamn Mexico. Yeah, girl, she's coming with you. Arkansas Department of Motor Vehicles. Trying to find them by their license plate. Dallas. No, I don't want to go through Texas. Find some way we don't have to go through there. Girl, you clearly have a plan. Why don't you pull over and you mark the map yourself, and then she could just tell you where to turn. From Oklahoma, but you don't want to go through Texas. I ain't good at geography, but it sounds like you got to do it. Ooh. You gonna break into her house? I never would have thought that this movie was this. Oh, that crop duster scared the poop out of me. I want to be their friend so bad. Not very smart to be driving next to a crop duster with your top down, you know? <laughs> Pick him up. All right. Okay. Stop it. Oh, well, this is a fun adventure. I still love that car. It's such a pretty car. And we have reason to believe that your wife was the other occupant of that car. 
It's a lot of information for you, my guy. You're standing in your pizza. Yep. Ooh, ah. Uh, see, without Thelma, you are nothing. <laughs> We'd already been going. How'd they do that to that horn? I never been with anybody but Darren. You trying to change that? Oh, girl. Oh, this is about to get wild. Maybe you got too many parking tickets. You could say that. Prints on the trunk of the car match those of Thelma Dickinson. I didn't think prints were a thing back in this time period. They never showed up. I did not think there would be enough evidence to get the police this far into finding them. Peaches, could you try Colbert peaches? Jimmy? What are you doing here? I just came to see you, baby. I'm nervous, instantly scared. Now look who's here. <gasps> oh, shit! Oh, I thought they were gonna be screwing. Who's the cowboy? Oh, this here, uh, this is JD. Not Brad Pitt saying, how do. I love to watch him go. Thelma kind of took to him. Thelma really infatuated with him. It's our future. So, Louise, did you tell Jimmy what's going on? Least I can do is not make him any more an accessory than he already is. I mean, it's not like he was around for you. Well. He sure got his work cut out for him now, don't he? Who are you be talking about men? Look at you, girl. Mind your business. And if there's any problem, then you call me in room 211. You're gonna leave Thelma by herself? Why does this guy kind of look like Elvis Presley if I tried to draw him from memory? Is that something to do with another man? No. <laughs> well, no, it's not. it does have something to do with another man. <laughs> okay, whoa. Hey, now. You start this shit, I'm out of here. That's not how that works. You can't throw shit, flip a table, and be all like, I'm sorry. Sit down, I'm gonna give you something. She's about to catch body number two. No. Nope. Absolutely not. No. Won't you try it on? Don't even do that, girl. Flew across two states with that ring in my fucking hand and uh... And then when you see her, you trash the room because she upset you. So don't make it sound like she's inconveniencing you. Well, I thought that's what you wanted. I did, but not like this. Not with you not answering your phone, not with you never coming home, not with you showing up, not giving her her money directly, and then throwing shit around the room. Absolutely not. How much me? Work out. We both got what we settled for. That's a good quote. We both got what we settled for. Just chalk it up to bad timing. That's a good way to break up. Just bad timing. Oh, head. you're too weak. Come on, here. All right, all right, I'm all right, so here. excited. I'm so excited. Too much metal going here. We're gonna lighten the load a little bit. Smooth. This is getting uh, wild. The guy who's parole officer's probably having a shit fit right about now. I know, I can't tell if he's actually a good guy or not. I'm a robber. What'd you rob? Individuals? Is she about to get got for a second time in this movie? How? With a gun? Ladies, Brad Pitt is so lean. Simon says, everybody down on the floor. I would simply be freaking out if I was her. I I'm slightly stressed. What if he steals all your money in the envelope that's on the nightstand? Oh my god. Okay. Done properly, armed robbery doesn't have to be a totally unpleasant experience. <laughs> well, I may be an outlaw, darling. You're the one stealing my heart. Get out! Get out of the room! Two very different things are happening in these uh, hotel rooms. A breakup and a hookup. Is she testing him to see if he really cares and like has these memories? You should have left when you had the chance, girl. You're setting yourself up for more heartbreak and disappointment by this man. Jimmy, what color are my eyes? Brown. Yeah, brown. I love Susan Sarandon. <laughs> oh, well, now the hotel... Oh, don't get your cigarette near her hair. What if she has hairspray on? Nobody talk to me. Nobody talk to me. Hip bones for days, Gina Davis. What is it like to be that skinny? Take it all in, girl. Just look at it. Just... Okay, girl! To the floor! Get into it! We saw the top of Brad Pitt's booty crack. You should leave him there, girl. He's just gonna hold you back. He's not a good guy.
This is the second time we we saw that truck put water on the road, and now we saw that guy on the water hose put water on the road. Why are we watering the roads? I'm not gonna tell anybody anything. I'm not gonna. I don't know. They offer enough reward of reward money. I think he would tell on y'all. I just want you to be happy. I wouldn't even keep the ring. Why are they so weird to me? They just feel weird. I don't know. Hello? Y'all gonna come up for air? Y'all need to mind your business. Don't be gossiping about all the cute men in the in the restaurant. You're sad in this moment, but you're doing what you gotta do. Girl, you didn't brush your hair or nothing. That's what a good dick will do. Tell me what happened. Oh, you wildin' out with a little hickey. You finally got laid properly. <laughs> you finally got laid properly. Everybody deserves it. Taking a shower. What if he steals the money? I'm d I just don't trust him. Mama, you left him alone in the room? Where's the money? Oh my god. Okay, I'm Louise. I am Louise. I've never been lucky, not one time. <sighs> well, that's not true, girl. You got lucky last night. Leave Was it, it worth it now? He literally told you he was a robber. I'm sorry, I mean it. I feel real bad for Louise. Louise, it's okay. In what universe? Because Thelma ain't got no money. She ain't gonna call her husband. Louise, just don't you worry about it. What would you have her do instead? And now they're not gonna be able to pay for their rooms, so now that's not gonna be good for them. You know, like, you're really happy to hear from her? Oh, well that's gonna raise a red flag immediately. Women love that shit. So, Thelma, have you come up with a solution to the lack of money? Are you going to the market to get something with all the money you don't have? Is she gonna rob the place? She robbed the place! Wow, Thelma really is having some kind of character development and I don't know if it's in the best ways. Okay, wow, rude, low blow. Simon said, y'all lie down on the floor, please, right away. She really did that. She really said, Simon says, lays on the floor. Not you'll have a tag on your toe. You decide. I know. I'd be, I'd be watching that in pure amazement with a burger, too, friend. Hey, uh, I'm gonna get some bottles of wild turkey, too, will you? This woman loves her, I guess it's whiskey. Is that a type of whiskey? Down on the floor till I'm gone. Have a good day. Wouldn't exactly say it's gonna be a good day. Good God. My Lord. Heavens to Betsy. Jeez Louise. <laughs> I just died for you caught on a feeding ticket. That would suck. You're right, you do need some distance. Also, why don't you put the roof up? At least they wouldn't be able to see that two women were in it, you know? Got your litter. Is that is that where we draw the line of being a decent human? Truck driver's always so nice. Best drivers on the road. Sometimes, yeah. Show me your titties. I take it back, I take it back! Oh no, the cops have found Jimmy. I bet Jimmy's gonna tell. We already know Daryl will. Wow, all the men in this movie really be staring at them. But honestly, I would be too. I want you to call Daryl. No, bad idea. Because that means the police have told them and the phone's probably tapped. Yeah, so just don't call actually. Just don't, just don't call. Uh-huh. We can't even say it was self-defense. Well, it wasn't, we were walking away. For that, there's no such thing as justifiable robbery. Well, where'd you get this? Stolen. <laughs> oh man, oh man. Hi. That's the one that's going. Mm. He's going to tell on him. That's Mrs. Dickinson's husband. She twice fall back. <laughs> yeah, I believe she's the woman driving the car. He's going to turn them in. He also told us that you and Mrs. Dickinson seemed close. They were close. For the night, at least. So you two boys have a lot in common. Maybe I should just step out of the room for a sec. Bold. You mind if I speak to him alone for a minute? Okay, the eyebrow raised too much from you, sir. Thelma Dickinson would have committed armed robbery if you hadn't taken all their money. Well, see, about that, that's real good connecting the dots on your part. Well, how, how you know I took it? How, how you know they didn't show <laughs> Your misery is to be my goddamn mission in life. Yes. I would never, I would be crying instantly. I don't, I don't like to be in trouble. Like your wife. Come here, come on. Come on. Get in. Oh, wait. 
That a pretty horse right there. Little bee ladies. Fill her up. If they got the bureau on this, how in the world has this not gotten like the the word to look for these two women in this color of a car has not made it out here? Oh my god, I'm freaking out! Is this gonna be their downfall, calling Daryl? Is that lamp also a fish tank? Fish bowl? That's cool. Hello, hello. Gonna say. Red flag, red flag. Well, you can't call Jimmy either, girl. What makes you think if Daryl knows that Jimmy hasn't been gotten a hold of yet? Why would you call yeah. them? Daryl. What do you mean? There, there's no police here. You a bad liar. Hey, hey where are you girls anyway? Just wait, Daryl. Will you? He like really us? thought. He really thought it was gonna be that easy. I'm uh, investigator How Slocum, Arkansas State Police. If the phones are tapped, can't they still trace this phone call? Neither one of you are charged with murder yet. Keyword, yet. Mrs. Dickinson's wanted in Oklahoma for armed robbery. No kid, look. <laughs> she said, ooh, me? <laughs> We're going to Mexico, huh? How'd they know that? <gasps> it wasn't Jimmy. It was, it was Brad. Just, uh, I just told him if he ever got to Mexico. Well, that's, well, I wonder why. I thought he would not tell anybody, you know? You also didn't think he'd steal your money, and he did. We were going. Now one of the things we had going for us is gone. And you just made a phone call from where you're at, so so they could trace you. You gotta stop being so open. That's what my therapist tells me. Let's start behaving like. And that. then I should be telling y'all everything. So I think Thelma's gonna listen about it as well as I do. I really hope they don't get caught. I hope they make it to Mexico. I always wanted to travel. I just never got the opportunity. Well, you you might not get the opportunity again, girlfriend. They are both so pretty. I love them both so much. You know, with the right haircut, I feel like Susan Sarandon could also look like Sigourney Weaver a little bit. Whatever gets you through it, girlfriend. I ain't even judging you. Well, let me see. Did you make it? Ain't nothing like a sunrise when you're running from the law. Look who it is. It's that guy. I'm Just a darn. Ignore what him. Guy? Oh, the truck driver. <laughs> who was? Stop. You're disgusting. Get out of here. He sure wasn't expecting that. <laughs> oh, the guy they shot. My dick. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Louise doesn't find this amusing. Louise ain't ready to laugh about this yet. I'm not talking about it. Okay. You understand? Good for you for drawing that boundary. Good for you. Clear, concise, understood. Not talking about it. Way to ruin a nice, peaceful road trip, Thelma. We were all having a good time for a second. <gasps> no! No! For real? Thelma, we're getting pulled over. For real, for real, for real? For real? Shit. What if it's just for sp I hope it's like just for a speeding ticket and like they're not they're not getting them for the other stuff. All right, we'll just go play by ear. Maybe doesn't know. Maybe it's just gonna get That's what I'm hoping for, baby girl! This is a big day for him. He could be capturing murderers and robbers today. You've evaded the police for so long. This is a big thing for him. How fast was it going? About 110. Oh, you big fast. Why would you be speeding that much when you're wanted? You should be following every law. Run or the back. Right. Thelma, I don't know what you're thinking about doing, baby, but don't do it. Whatever your little brain is telling you. You want to step back and get in your car Thelma! again, please? Officer. See, if you get on that radio, you're gonna find out that we're wanted. And oh my gosh! Louise, take his gun. I know, girl. I know, girl. I don't know who this Thelma is, but it ain't the Thelma that started the movie. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> That's a good plan. Wow, Thelma's actually really smart when it comes to crime. Jesus I'm Christ. Sorry. I didn't realize it was the wrong radio! My dumbass would've did exactly what Louise did. Open the trunk. Thelma, I think you've made your point, girl. It's gonna be hard enough for him to leave already. My husband wasn't sweet to me. Look how I turned out. <coughs> it's a good point. Good point by you, girl. They have just simply become very comfortable with committing crimes. Don't be driving like that around horses. It'll scare them. My life would have been ruined a whole lot worse than it is now. At least now I'm having some fun. At least now you're having some fun. Robbing people, stuff. She wants to talk to you. Wow, Louise is so brave calling and talking to the police. Well, we're not in the middle of nowhere, but we can see it. <laughs> That's really funny. Don't stay on the phone too long, girl. You're going to get traced. Don't blow it. The plot thickens. You're not going to give up on me, are you? She hasn't yet. I can't go back. I just couldn't live. 
Yeah, you are a totally different woman. Don't want to end up on the damn Geraldo show. I don't know that reference. Ah, uh, they're charging us with murder. She says that so casually and calm. I just feel like we're so close to the border, this movie could go any way at this point. You know, I've always wanted to take a girl's trip, you know, get some besties together and go on a little adventure. This is not what I had in mind. I feel awake. I don't trust you, Thelma. I don't trust you, girl. With a drink of margaritas by the sea, mama. Yeah, that's the plan. Louise, you need to stop weaving all over the road. Follow what little laws you have left to follow and you won't get caught. I'm so sick of this truck driver again. Oh, let me tell you something. If this semi-truck driver ends up being their downfall, because he's got a CB radio, what if he recognizes y'all? You ready for a thick dick? They're gonna rob his ass. I'm so excited for this. Ooh, disgusting! Yeah, I've been seeing you too. <laughs> Goofy dude. That's your mother, or your sister, or your wife. <laughs> Slob I am. Yeah, does that mean suck my dick? Because the last man who said that to us got killed. I bet you even called us beavers on your CB radio, didn't you? Beaver. I don't think he's gonna apologize. <laughs> I was just about to say, I bet that's an oil truck. What happened to the plan of making it to Mexico quietly? You smoking and riding a bike? Your lung is like, if you can do both, wild. Is that a Walkman? Is that what those were called? Oh, he doesn't hear him knocking because he's listening to the Walkman. <laughs> I can't tell if he's going to help or not. Hot box the trunk! Thelma, Yvonne See, what did I tell Thelma. you? You shouldn't have caused a scene. Oh my God, are they going to make it or not? I'm so worried. They're not gonna make it. There's no way they make it. I'm so stressed. I want them to make it so bad. You know what? You've already got so many charges on you. Like, might as well just rack them up at this point. <laughs> I don't know. I just don't know what we do. What do we do? It's flat open land. They're gonna see your dust trail no matter how you go. And like, what happens once you cross the border? Do you just not get charged with all these crimes? I didn't think about the cop car not fitting through that. Oh, this car has the windshield wipers that go like that instead of this. You know what? I don't smoke, but after this stressful of a situation today, I probably would take a couple puffs of a cigarette. Good friend. You too sweet to the bus. <laughs> you like the vacation so far? <laughs> <laughs> What a wild vacation. It's definitely in a cabin and we definitely haven't been fishing. Are we going to make it or are we not? Oh no, oh no! Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no! Cause like, how do you outrun a chopper? I don't think you can. But they don't know that the chopper's in the canyon. What, let me see, let me see what's in your way. Oh my God! Okay. What in the hell is this? This is a canyon. I think it's a goddamn Grand Canyon. Oh, the grandest canyon. Not just any old canyon. <laughs> Peekaboo! Girl, what is the plan? Oh my, is, the, is there a plan? That's a lot of dust flying around. How do you know which way to go? That's a lot of police surrounding you. Turning around and going where? Into the canyon? What are your options? You don't have any more options. It's time to be arrested. I'm not giving up. Sir, ma'am. She says she's not giving up. You're gonna you you're gonna get shot on sight, girl. The minute they say you have a gun. Let's keep going. Where? Go. Over the cliff? Beats prison, honestly. They're just gonna yeet over the side of a cliff? To get, well, at least they're together, I guess. Better than spending a lifetime in prison apart, probably. Because why would they put those two together, you know? Wow. A hubcap said bye! It started out so happy, it's so much promise. 
And that's how it is, it's just them driving off the cliff. I'm gonna wait for these little moments to pass. Let's talk about it. Okay, y'all, listen, to, listen. I was so excited about a little girl's trip, just a little girl's getaway, some girl empowerment. I was so excited for Louise to look at Thelma and be like, girl, you need better. You deserve a better man. And then I was excited for Thelma to be like, bitch, you too. Where's Jimmy? He ain't even called you. And then I was so excited for whether that be two women like start a new life together, either together together or like just besties getting through life. Again, like I said, the Dixie Chicks and their song Goodbye Earl. Mary Ann and Wanda were the best of friends. You know what I mean? That's what I was hoping for. I had no idea that we, it was, it was going to start so sad with the, with the dude at the bar. And then it connects to Louise's backstory. And, uh, and here I was, I was so excited for Thelma to get some good dick. And I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. The minute he was talking about being a robber, I was like, he's going to take that money. And guess what he did? Took that money. But I wasn't ready for her to turn around and be like, all right, I'll do it too. And this was a wild story. They drove off the edge of the cliff together. Didn't expect that. I mean, what, what, what was the option? If you make the wrong move, you had 20 guns at your head, you were going to die. Uh, go to prison. Probably get the death sentence. Go to prison and be separated. You know, they're not going to just put you on a cell together. It's not bestie hangout time in prison from what I understand. Honestly, a very poetic ending. It's such a good story of two best friends just fucking around and finding out. But when I say I want a girl's trip, I don't want to commit murder and rob anything. You know, I just want to, like Louise said in the car, I just want to drink some margaritas on a beach. Five out of five stars. I had to think about it for a second, but five out of five stars for Thelma and Louise. It was funny. Susan Sarandon, Gina Davis, come on now. And explosions. Y'all know I'm a hoe for explosions. And that one at the end with the oil truck, gas truck, whatever kind of truck. It was a good one. So five out of five stars for Thelma and Louise. Thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe, stick around because coming up, we got, the doorbell just rang. We got, Friday is Arsenic and Old Lace. Monday is part one of the movie Troy from 2004. I'm actually collabing with Mary Cherry. You might know her, you might follow her. We have a lot of mutuals. She streams on Twitch. She's very fun, very cool. That's coming up Monday. And then part two will actually be on her channel. That Friday is going to be Some Like It Hot, and I don't know what that next Monday is, but then the next Friday is going to be X-Men 3. So, hope you like, subscribe, stick around, links to social media down below if you want to be my friend outside the YouTubers, and I'll see you right back here on Friday. Bye!